Hello everyone, we are going to solve a couple examples for 2D moment. So determine the moment of the fourth about point O. So in this problem, we have a force 100 Newton, and we want to find the moment about point O. So the moment about O should be the fourth times the perpendicular distance. But this force is creating a clockwise rotation. Is pushing the member to rotate clockwise. And we said that the clockwise convention would be negative. Force is 100, the moment arm is 2, the perpendicular distance, so I have negative 200. And the unit for moment is Newton meter. Newton meter. Let's go to another problem. We want to find a moment about point O. Here, again, this force is forcing the member to rotate clockwise. So my moment would be negative. That's how I determine the sign of the moment. Here, this shadow shows the rotation of our part. What is the force? It's 15 it. But what is the moment R? We have multiple dimension, but remember, we always deal with the perpendicular distance and that would be 0.75 meter it really doesn't matter how far is this lens so 0.75 the result would be negative 37.5 and the unit again is newton meter Well, our convention is positive would be counterclockwise and negative clockwise. Sometimes a negative counterclockwise is also reported as 37.5 Newton meter clockwise. So instead of saying negative, reporting negative to show the clockwise, we just write it here, clockwise. Uh, both convention is, is common. So let's look at Another problem here, we want to find a moment about point O. This force again is rotating a member clockwise. So the sign is negative. The magnitude of the force is 40. Remember the unit here is pound. The moment R, we need to find a perpendicular distance. So that would be the total distance here, which is 4 plus 2 cosine 30. So fourth times the moment R. Therefore, our MO, or the moment about point O, would be negative 229.28. And remember, the unit system here is pound feet. And these negative signs indicate clockwise. Let's look at this problem now. Here in this image, we have multiple forces. And we're going to find the moment of all forces about point O. So we have one, two, three, four. But not all of them are creating a moment about point O. If we look at the image, we see that this 60 Newton is going through point O and it's not causing our member to rotate or in other words the moment arm is zero so this 60 newton is not creating any moment for us we can include it into equation but we need to multiply it by zero which will remove this term our force 50 newton is creating a moment and the moment arm is two meter is creating the member creating the member to rotate causing the member to rotate clockwise so that will create a negative moment. Here, these two forces, we have 20 Newton. The moment arm for this 20 Newton force is from here to here. And it's creating, causing our member to rotate counterclockwise. So this force is, cre is creating a positive moment. And finally, force 40 Newton 
is causing the member to rotate clockwise so it's a negative moment and the moment arm would be the total distance from O to here so let's write down all the moment components that, that we have so I'm gonna write it here I have MO the negative let's just start with this force 50 times 2 Here we said that this is positive, so 20 plus 20 times 3 sine 30. I'm looking for this distance. That's the perpendicular arm, and that's 3 sine 30. So plus 20 is the force. The moment arm is 3 sine 30. And the last one is 40 Newton. The moment arm is here. So I need to multiply, I need to add this distance plus this distance. Negative 40 because it's clockwise. 4 plus 3 cosine 30. If I add all of them together, Total moment is negative 333.92. The unit is Newton meter. And this uh, negative sign indicates clockwise. So in total, my uh, all the forces are forcing the member to rotate clockwise. Another way to report this moment is to write 333.92 newton meter and it write clockwise instead of showing it by a negative sign you just write clockwise 